Hey there, Charlotte here. Welcome to Stock the Talk videos where we talk about online business models, our observations, and most importantly, online business opportunities that might help you. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you find value uh, listening to us, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Today is Thursday, June 25, and it's been a little over a week since our last uh, video. Life's notorious throwing odd curved balls just when you think it's smooth sailing. Another ball, curved ball, comes at you and you either change direction, catch the ball and make the up for lost time, or you charge ahead and let the ball fall wherever it may. Well, within the last two months, I've had a few odd balls tossed my way. Not one, not two, not three, but five. Yes, five members of my family passed away. Not my nuclear family, but close. So today I'd like to talk about how we manage whatever life throws at you, both in business and personal life. A disclaimer, I'm not a psychologist, psychiatrist, a psychiatrist, mental health care expert. What I share with you is my own experience, uh, impressions, and conclusions. So we begin with business. When profits go south, there's an initial feeling of denial. Let's go, the data is wrong, so there's a mistake. However, if the numbers are correct, we get to work. We reevaluate our product quality, we reevaluate our customer service. How's the market environment? How taste has changed? Or as in the current situation, what's the population's mindset? Mindset's important. Unemployment escalating, people are not comfortable with spending money. So how can a business survive? Mindset, remember, how we think and feel about our condition is our number one priority. We must focus on making the most of with whatever we have. Number one with me is, uh, am I healthy? For the task ahead, I have to be physically, mentally, and spiritually fit. If you can't take care of yourself, is it realistic for your customers to think you can help them? Of course not. What do I have that will help others? I never forget that by helping others, I help myself. It's the law. What goes around comes around. As in business, so, is our private lives. When a loved one's gone, our emotions take over immediately. We all know that death, the death is a normal part of life. We are all going to go through the same door. And yet, every time it happens, the feelings, the emotions, like exper it's like experience, experiencing something new all over again. You may have read this author Elizabeth Kupra-Ross book on death and dying. A short summary. There are five stages that the terminally, terminally ill people and patient and people going through lost. First, there is denial. It can't be true. Second, second, anger. Why me? Third, bargaining. If uh, God let help me through this, if you do, I'll do whatever. Then there's depression. And finally, accepting the inevitable. I think it's a good book to read because it will make you think. However, I'm not a supporter of this motto. And why? Because personally, we all deal differently with loss. When it happens to me, I revert to silence. In silence, there's no denying, there's no anger, there's no bargaining, a little depressed. And acceptance is neither here nor there. It's simply grief. And it's okay to feel it. And then it's a time to remember, a time to learn. Instead of regrets, I will remember to never repeat the same mistake again. That's my experience. However, we are all unique in how we deal with grief. In being human, making undesirable choices happens. But there's always room to forgive oneself. There's always room for growth. Whatever 
you are going through at this time, whether in your business or personal life, when things get tough and rough, try silence. It might help. Until next time, stay healthy, take care of yourself. Stay safe.